Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to perform a Wilcoxon signed rank test in R. Now, when we want, a Wilcoxon signed rank test is a statistical test in its own right, but it's very often used for paired or dependent samples uh, to see if there's a difference between uh, the two samples, if there's a significant difference, that is. Now, usually when we have two samples, we would perform a, um, a student t-test, but if one or both of the sample data that are used are not normally distributed, a t-test is not appropriate. So we would use a Wilcoxon signed rank test where uh, the data are not normal, or possibly if the data are categorical data as well. So the uh, null and alternative hypothesis, let's specify these here. First of all, the null hypothesis is that the median difference between the pairs of observations is zero. In other words, the median ranks are the same. The alternative hypothesis is that the median difference between the pairs of observations is not zero. We're going to use an alpha value of 0 0.05 in all tests in this video. The data I'm going to use are taken from a paper, a 2004 paper by Lorisons, which uh, shows aluminium content, milligrams of aluminium per gram of wood in uh, 13 different types of poplar trees. And I've copied that data into a CSV file, which is a numbered 96 datafile.csv. Uh, this file, plus all other data files used in this series of videos, and all the R scripts are available in my GitHub, and you'll find a link to that in the information section beneath this video on the YouTube page. So let's read in the data and take a look at it. So these are aluminium levels and display them. So when I do that, we can see uh, in the console that we've got 13 different um, um, poplar tree clones by name. And we have the value for their aluminium levels in August, and then they're, they're measured again in November. So this makes this paired data. And normally we would conduct a paired t-test to compare these levels to see if there's a significance between them. But let's check for normality in this data first. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And I'm going to use the Shapiro Wilk test to do this. And the lev I'm going to do this for the ALU levels for dollar sign um, August 1st. Let me run this piece of code. And we can see in the console, when we look at the results, of the Shapiro Wilk test, uh, that we've got a p-value of 0 0.07, and this indicates this is greater than our alpha value of 0 0.05, and this indicates that our data are normal. So we cannot reject a null hypothesis that our data are not normal. Let me copy this piece of code and check the November data. Paste this in from my clipboard, and just take away the August variable. November level. Run this. In this instance here, we've got a p-value, a very small p-value. So our p-value is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, our data for September, or sorry, for November are not normal. So in that case, then a t-test is not an appropriate test to use. And we're now going to use the Wilcoxon signed rank test, which is based on the ranks, the median ranks of the two samples. So to perform this, um, um, perform this test, we use a, a function called the Wilcox.test function. Now, if you go to the help screen in our studio and type in Wilcox.test, you'll get lots of information about the, the, uh, this particular function, uh, some arguments and so on that are used, parameters and some examples and so on. So if you haven't used this test, this function before, it's a good idea to go to the help section to take a look at it. Now we're going to compare the August and November data here. So I'm going to put in my two variables, alu levels and dollar sign. Let's put in August 1st, put a comma after that, and then ALU again, levels, dollar sign, and November. So there are the two variables we're going to compare. And we're going to run this function twice. We're going to do August 1st and November 2nd, and then swap those around when, it, when we do the second test. And we also need to do here is we need to tell, um, sorry, that should be a comma, we need to tell R that whether the um, data are paired or not. Now we've got data from August and, and November, so these are, are these are dependent on each other, so these are paired. So I need to indicate using the paired equals parameter that set this to true. Sorry about the typo there, T-R-U-E, set this to true. And when I run this, I get my output of the Wilcoxon signed rank test, and we can see that we have a, first of all, the test statistic, uh, which is called V in R, is reported and has a value of 16, and the p-value is 0 0.039. 
So this, um, um, and this will become 0 0.04 rounded, but 0 0.03979, this is the p-value, um, and this value is less than our alpha value of 0 0.05, therefore we can reject the null hypothesis. Remember what we are rejecting? We're rejecting this statement, that the median difference between the pairs of observations is zero. So we've now found evidence that there is actually a difference between the medians of uh, August and November data. Now I need to run this a second time, so let me copy this piece of code run it a second time and swap the variables around. And the reason I do this is I'm going to get, let me change this to November and change the second one to August and run this again. So take a look at the output. So we're going to more or less get the same output. But what you can see is if I move this up and I'm going to leave the code there, when I run it the first time, you can see I'm getting a, a test statistic of uh, called V and R uh, of 16. And in the second time we run the test, the test statistic is 75. And what we do is we report the smaller of the two. So um, the, the, these data are paired. And so we just swap them around, run this test each time, and we report the smaller value. We can see that the p-value is exactly the same in both cases as we might expect. So then how I report this, and make a comfortable conclusion is I'm going to report um, the, uh, the test statistic, which is a W, is equal to 16. Or that's the lower of the two values that we were given there. And we state our P statistic. I'm going to give the exact value here. P is equal to 0 0.040. That's a rounded figure. So this then in turn tells us that we can reject an null hypothesis because this value of 0 0.04 is less than our alpha value of 0 0.05. Therefore, we have sufficient evidence at 95% at, um, significance that we, can, that we have found a difference between the median levels of aluminium uh, when August and November is compared. So we're rejecting the null hypothesis and our conclusion is that there is a difference between the levels of the two types of tree clones. So that's how you perform a Wilcoxon signed rank test in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.